Hey everyone, it's Kristen with Thinksomatics. Now there's a hot word out on the Google search these days for pandiculations, pandiculating. And what you're getting online is not the whole story. So let's talk about what pandiculations are and how to get the most out of them. First off, pendiculations are not stretches and they are not strengthening moves. What they are is how all animals can reset their muscle length to their natural resting length without force. If you've ever watched your pet get up after a nap or sleeping and you think he's stretching, he's actually pendiculating. Anytime you do this, you do a big reach of your arms and you yawn and you contract your body and then you just let it all go, that's a pandiculation. So the three key things of a pandiculation are the contraction and you sense that, and then two, you let it release slowly, and three, let it register. Let your sensory motor cortex sense a difference in the muscles of what you're normally doing. So I'm keeping this pretty short and sweet and simple, but do know that the somatic movements that we do are pandiculations and they are like the magic of somatics, but there is neuroscience behind what we're doing. We are resetting the muscle length using the nervous system and the brain, the receptors and the muscles, and I won't go into all the details, but you are using neuroplasticity to reset your muscle length. Now, sometimes people dabble in somatics, but then they're like, well, I'm not sure really what I feel. And that actually is kind of common for some people because we are so externally stimulated by the world outside of us that we have lost sense of what we're really doing from an internal perspective. So let's pandiculate the bicep. I'm gonna contract and I pull my hand up towards my shoulder. And if I tune in, I can feel these bicep muscles contracting. And then I slowly let it release and the muscles lengthen. And I'm not stretching or strengthening, but I am tuning in to what I am doing and sensing it and just letting that arm relax. I could add a little bit of load to it if my sensory motor cortex isn't quite sure what I'm doing. I give a little light load, little pressure on the forearm, not a lot, it's not an exercise, contracting upward, feeling the bicep, and now I can, my sensory motor cortex is feeling it more. And then I slowly lengthen back down and I am pandiculating my biceps. But in somatics, we never do just one part of the body because the whole body works as a whole system from head to toe. So let's think about forward head posture. This is a common thing that people are trying to remedy and the physical therapy, personal trainer world or whatever will say, okay, well, you need to pull your chin back. And they're just focusing on this part of the body. But let's tune that into a full body awareness experience. So when my head goes forward, my belly and chest tighten. So if I just wanna pull my head back, but I don't address what's going on in my torso, I'm wasting my time. If I wanna to go to the root of why my head is forward, it's coming from the center of the body. So there's a move called arch and flatten that would take care of that forward head posture much quicker and much easier. So you can do that line on the floor or you can do it seated. So let's explore it. So with the arch and flatten, we're gonna go into the flattening. We're gonna flatten our bellies and backs into the space behind us and feel the tension in the front of the body and my head goes forward. And then I slowly release that. Now I'm keeping this short and sweet, but you would practice this a few times and then going into the arch. So now my chin drops. I'm going into that pattern that everybody's trying to do with their head, but the whole spine is involved. I'm arching and feeling the tension in the back of the body. The front has let go. And then releasing it. So I'm pandiculating the front of my body when I flatten. I concave my front, my belly tightens, my chest closes up, my head goes forward, and then slowly release that. Now the key is to do it slowly and with awareness. And again, you could do a little bit of load with this if you need a little bit of help. So I can put my hand at the top of my rectus abdominis and down closer to my pelvis and then contract the front. And I push my hands a little bit closer together, feel the belly contracting. Again, sensory motor cortex is going to pick up more information with that load and then slowly Release, going against a gentle load. 
and the front of the body has softened, and I feel more uh, homeostasis front and back of the body so I can just sit up and have my head up instead of sitting like this. Kind of a speed 101 pandiculation lesson, but I hope that helps you out. Remember, go slowly, take your time with it, and try to feel yourself from the inside.